Hello you. I fancy a fancy cheese toasty. What do you reckon? With some cheese and some much cheese, that's not cheese, the good stuff. Cheese, gouda, onion. This is known as an onion. And some mushrooms. The best type of mushrooms. Because they were half priced and ready sliced. Which made me go, oh yeah, yeah, mush mushroom cheese toasty. And all the work I've saved on that, I'm now going to expend on making it fancy. So, hopefully this onion's good because it's been sitting around a while. No, that's fine by me. Yeah, as you can see, I am no chef. We'll get that. I hope for one of those automated onion chopper things. Or the ability to not cry. Although you'd have horribly dry eyes, wouldn't you? Yeah, oh blimey! This, I know there's a trick you to, to you know put water to one side so the stuff that gets released into the air goes into that instead of your eyes. And only chopping one end because one end. Let's out the stuff more than the other, uh, all that sort of stuff. But I've just been blown by mmm, tea's toasty, let's just get on with it. Thought I'm making a mess here. Eee, this is a blimmin' awkward one. And there go my eyes starting to sting. Marvellous. Oh, can, you know what? I'm going to sacrifice this out, outer layer instead. It's going to be easier in the long run. He says, determined not to make it easy for me. Let's pop that there. Let's dump that in the recycling bin. Clean up as I'm going along. Right, let's get rid of that bit there as well. And of course there's all sorts of techniques for chopping them there. Um, let's just do it this way. Almost sliced my thumb. But not quite. There we go, let's go. Note the cunning way, I am obscuring everything by the way that I'm holding it. If we do it this way, like it makes a difference, like I said, I'm not a chef. I'll have a few long bits. Because that'll probably work better, to be honest, than these tiny little bits that I've done here. That's a bit of a mess, really. Oh, hey ho, we're there, we've done it now. Let's get that on the pan. You know what I haven't done? Turn the oven on. Should have had that warming up. That's going to be a while now. And where's the. There we go. Get some olive oil on that. Get it open. Fresh bottle. Why won't it open? There we go. Oh, blimey, my eyes. In the that. Yes, I washed my hands. Let's get some mushrooms on there. Ooh, that's a big one, isn't it? Go 
because what I'm going to do is bung this in the oven for 20 minutes to roast them up something lovely. Hopefully, he says, jinxing himself something terrible. I can barely see this pan here through the tears in my eyes. Ah. I think there's a few gaps there and there. But let's smoosh it all together and make sure we get oil on everything. Now I'm really not sure why I chopped the onion that way, because bigger chunks would have been better. But we're there now, so... And it will all go down the same way, and it will still be tasty, I'm sure. Let's get a little bit more on top. Please be handy with this grease. Oh, my eyes are clearing, finally. It's running water. Um, a little bit of salt and pepper. salt and sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. That will do nicely. Wait for the oven to heat up and that can go in. In the meantime I will get on with... Where did I put... Thank you. Thank you, Mosca. That's where I put it, wasn't it? Let's do gouda. Oh, my nose is streaming now. Outside in the garden, sorting out the chokes and stuff. I really fancy a cheese toast, but a fancy, a fancy one. So, so here we are. I figured I've worked off the calories, though I likely haven't. I could do with losing a few more, but there we go. said for the mental health that cheese that toasties does over the physical health side. <clears throat> mushrooms and the onions. They're right there. Put the pan ready for later. I've got proper butter for frying in from Longman Salted Butter from North Cadbury Yeovil. Nice stuff. Pick that up on the um, We've got bread, frying pan, butter, that, that. That's pretty much it, isn't it? Uh, where's the lid for the... Lost the lid. There we go. The lid for the 
oil. Right, so once the oven's come up to temperature, I'm going to be bunging that in and leaving it for about 20 minutes. I will then be coming back and doing a little bit more around here. But I don't think I'll leave the camera running for 20 minutes. That would seem a little odd, wouldn't it? Um, you'd love that, though, wouldn't you? No, I'm not going to pick you up because I've got clean hands-ish. Um, yeah, so, through the magic of and all of that stuff, um, editing, that's the word, uh, come back in about 20 minutes' time and hopefully these will be ready for shoving into a sandwich. Well, maybe cool down a bit first, but we'll come back in 20 minutes. See you in a bit. Right, 20 minutes later, the own gloves, monkey world. There we go, let's uh, get these out. Might have used a bit too much oil. But no matter, because some of the excess oil. Oh yeah, that's very oily down there. Thanks. Looks good though. Smells good too. rather oily, isn't it? Still, I'm sure that'll be fine. Can you tell I've not done this before? This is my first attempt at this. I shall have to put the link to the place where I saw it on this week. Mmm, shiny. That. Put these fingers in the sink. And we're going to put that out of the way. I'm just going to shove that over there. That should be fine. Right. So, don't know how best to. You can see that. Let's just pop that up there out of the way. And. Get cracking with the bread. Do it this way, eh? It's not the freshest bread, so it should absorb a nice amount of fat. <laughs> thick for duels. I think I'll have it slightly thicker, but we'll see what that thickness goes like to start with. Let's, uh, yeah, I'll go with that. Oh, that's, no, I've cut that wonky. Oh well. You know what, that doesn't look excessive anyway, because it's only small, so I think I'll do 
Now let's just do that to start with. Um, butter. Butter in the pan. A little smidge of olive oil first. Just to stop it scalding. And let's whack the heat up. Get oh, almost all in there. So that's what to start with. While that's heating up, let's assemble the first of these. This is going to get very messy, isn't it? And tasty, hopefully. That will do nicely there. You know what? I'm just going to use my fingers. Ow, 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 ow. Who saw that coming, eh? Okay, that may be a few more onions on top. Might as well wipe the fat off my fingers on the bread before going back for more cheese on top. Glue it all together with the cheese. Press it flat. That will do. Smoosh that around a bit. How's this for multitasking? Not amazing. Side. Really smoosh that flat. Um, good, I've got tongs there as well. You know what, might as well just leave them there where they're handy. Ah. Come on, get sizzling. This makes a thrilling viewing, doesn't it? A little bit longer, on that nice and really sizzly. The fact that I can hold my hand there like that, it's not hot enough yet, is it? Come on! Probably being half deaf, I can't tell if that's sizzling or not. I can't. Just about starting, I think. I can see it bubbling up. Starting to get there, I think. You know what, I'm going to try one of these bits while I'm waiting. Yeah, that's nice. Let's go for it. Seeping in there. Let's just quickly turn it. Smoosh some more butter around. Right.
that's that timer for two minutes. By the time I found it, it will be three minutes. Oh, solid. Two. Start. Thank you. Two minutes either side should be enough, I figure. Hopefully. <clears throat> this is really going to make for thrilling viewing, isn't it? Me holding a sandwich in a frying pan. The, antici the anticipation should be good, though. Ooh, I hope this turns out well. Although I have got the rest of the loaf there, if it's a disaster on the first attempt. Ooh, it's not been two minutes yet. Call me Mr. Impatient. seconds to go. Fifteen seconds to go. Quick, no, I, I, I will resist. I'll give it the full two minutes and then I'll have a look underneath. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Let's turn that over and see what it looks like. Please be good. Slightly overdone. Not burnt, but I think I need one minute thirty. So let's see what it's like one minute thirty. <coughs> Maybe some more cheese in there. It's, I was expecting more to be running out the sides. swooshing around into it. Nice and crispy though. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. Patience, Rob, patience. If you wanted it quick, you could have just done a rubbish one in the microwave. I'm hoping this is worth the extra effort. when it comes to judging time. 30 seconds to go. Let's just check it. That's gone black already. Let's just get some butter on that and... Yeah, that's a bit dark, isn't it? Still, we'll give it a go. Slightly more presentable side up. Take that off the heat for a moment. Yes, yes, yes. Um, pop that to one side. Let's do the all important cross section. Let's see what it's like. Ow! The all important cross section is rather hot. Looks pretty good, maybe a bit more cheese. But we'll put that to one side and crack on with another one. Let's get some more butter in there. Maybe with a bit more oil again. Um, Turn it 
down a notch now that it's hot. You know what, I think that thickness of bread is about right. I think those ones are a bit thick. I'll put those to one side and quickly do a couple more that sort of thickness. Or thicker, maybe. <clears throat> God, I'm a terrible chef. Let's get a nice load of cheese in this one. Some toppings, toppings, fillings rather. Whoa, that's sizzling. And let's get some more cheese on top. More cheese, more cheese. Let's really cram that down there. Right. That butter is browning quite quickly. Let's turn that over. More butter there. And set it for a minute and a half. Right, um, you know what, I might as well assemble the next one. I'll use that, these thinner slices. Running low on cheese, might have to grate some more. Do, 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 do. Oops, dropping bits all over the place. Definitely need to grate some more cheese. Blimey, that's really dark. Let's just do a minute. I've got a minute on here, because by the time I found a minute, it'll be a minute thirty, won't it? That'll do. Uh, we've got that one lined up, we've got that one's toasting, that one's going to do a cheese. Where do I put it? There we go. Oh, come on. I just, I just locked that. There we go. Let's cut the outside of this off. Hopefully without cutting the outside of my fingers off. Yeah, come on. So I found out the tastiest bit of the goda is the rind. <laughs> Should have just grated it all to start with, shouldn't I? Futile attempt at portion control. Overdone again. 
that butter is getting very dark. I think it's from turn it down a further notch, I think. Still, it's a learning process, isn't it? And a fairly tasty one by the looks of it. That butter is getting very brown. I mean, it could just be that that is very, very brown butter now. Hopefully not burnt butter. But we'll see. Definitely getting tougher towards the edge of the rind. Last bit without grating my fingers. Just about. I'll do. Up there. Let's get this one in. Or on rather. Uh, let's check the cross section on this. light. Looks nice and gooey to me. However they do look a bit dark so I suspect I'll have those and let's see if I can get this one right. Let's have that. I haven't been timing have I? Damn it. Did I set the timer? I don't think I did did I? No. So I'll just have to watch it instead. Yeah, that's, I think that's just the uh, darkness of the butter now, rather than it being burnt. We'll just have that on there while I do one more. Plenty more in here. Let's really get that crammed in there. Well, it's going to be fun cleaning up after all of this. That done. Yeah, I'd say that looks done without being burnt for once. Or caramelised, I believe the cheat's word is for it. Let's get in there. Stop trying to escape. Ooh, spitty. Let's do that for a minute. And actually remember to set the timer for once. There we go. Ooh. Oh, we have some extra tasty bits left over. You know what, maybe I'll do it 30 seconds and turn it and then 30 seconds. Keep a better eye on it that way, can't I? He says, losing sight of the... That's been 30 seconds. Second time of going while I check the all important cross section on this one. Ha! Oh, ow! Ooh, in this light. Yeah. Could do with more cheese in that one, I think. But that one's got plenty more cheese, so those two can go together quite nicely, I think. Let's 
have this loose bit here. And these bits here. Oh, that's been 30 seconds. Thank you. on top. Take a few bits. I'll put that on top as well. Come on, come off there you Hopefully that will all glue together on top. Um, did I set the timer? What's my memory like? No, I didn't set the timer. Uh, let's press that into that. And into the spatula. See if I can. That should be nice. Ah. Lots of little tasty bits of onion here. No, I'm just going to hoover up. Nice, nice, nice. Pop that out of the way. down good. How are we doing, how are we doing, how are we doing? Looking messy but tasty. Yeah I think that I'd probably done or I'm going to be risking burning this one aren't I? Let's soak up some of that butter. Can. Yeah, that's instantly got a lot darker just from soaking up the butter. So I think it's just browned butter, which is good. Put that on there, let's turn the hob off. Let's drop that in the sink there. And ow, hot fat. Again, how am I going to do this? Well, there we go. Two for me, two for Jules, and a lot of washing up to do. But there we go. That's some mushroom and onion and gouda cheese toasties, which I've not done before. Hence why they're a bit overdone, and possibly less less oil next time, less heat in the pan. We'll work it out, but it doesn't look like a disaster to start with, in fact. Let's have a taster. I'll tell you what it's like. Oh, you know what? <coughs> That's really good. <coughs> yeah, that dark is not burned. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's rather nice. Recommended. <clears throat> Not sure about the cleaning up afterwards, but we'll get to that. So pop that to one side. Take those into the living room for jewels. And um, have a go yourself. If you don't mind making this much mess. Mushrooms ain't expensive. Aldi do gouda really quite cheaply. Bread's not expensive. Onions are dirt cheap. 
nom 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 nom. That's me set for the afternoon now. So um, yeah, I'll leave it there. Um, hope you enjoyed watching. If you stuck through it all this time, uh, watching someone fry something. There we go. Uh, watching someone inexpertly fry something. Plenty of people watch cooking programs, Rob. Just not necessarily with you at the helm. Yeah. So um, mm, tasty, fancy, cheese, toasties. Hope you enjoyed watching. I'm going to enjoy eating them now. Catch you on the next one, maybe. Ta-ta.